Hiya. Look, sorry to barge in like this, but Paul wanted me to give you a message. Right. Is everything okay? Not exactly, no. Um, mate of his has been hurt in a car crash. She's gone to see him. No. Do you, do you know who it is or how badly they were hurt? I don't, no. Anyway, like I said, Paul's gone to see him and um, he just wanted me to come and say sorry, but he's not going to make it this evening. Gather you two had a nice cosy night in planned or something. Oh, only once summer slopes off to her bedroom. I've just, I've just ordered it as a takeaway. Let me guess. Indian, prawn starters for you, chicken tikka masala for Maine and extra naan bread? No, we're having pizza, but nice try. What? Nothing. Just reminiscing, you know. Text from summer, she'll be home soon. Do you want to stay and have something to eat with this? Oh, it's nice of you to offer, and um, it's a tempting idea, but I don't think I'm just ready for that quite yet. Well, I, I, I didn't mean anything by it. No, I know. Just some other time, yeah? Yeah, sure. Anyway, I better go. I'll let myself out. Okay. Hey, are you okay? Are you, are you hurt anywhere? No, I got out before he could turn on me. He rolled up my mum, though. Is she OK? Do we need to call an ambulance? No. Last time I did, she got really angry at me. She said she didn't want anyone else to find out. Even so? Please, don't. Uh, hang on a sec. Billy, hi. Yeah, I'm really sorry about cancelling. Did Todd tell you? Yeah, I'm at the hospital now. Um... No, I, I think he's a bit more shaken up than anything. But listen, um, I'm going to have to go. Uh, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Sorry for calling. I don't want to get you in trouble again. It's just I didn't know what to do, and I was dead scared. And Look, the main thing is you're safe. Was he drunk? Yeah, for a change. Look, it sounds like he's getting worse. I know you're not keen, but I really think it's time we report this to the police or social services. No, I don't want anyone else to find out. And I definitely don't want to be talking to any feds. I know what you mean. I mean, I used to feel the same way, but they can be dead nice when they want to be. And I'll stay with you the whole time, if you want. Maybe. Can we just hang out for a bit first, though? I could get some chicken. If not, I'm a tea. <sighs> nah, me neither. OK, chicken it is. And then police station. Sure. Good lad. Hi. What can I get you? Hi. Um, I'll have a pint, please. You must be Jenny's stepdaughter. Daisy. Hi. Oh, I'm Billy. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> She's got you earning your keep already, has she? <laughs> I'm just covering while they spend some time together. They're getting in as many date nights as possible before Johnny's sentencing. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. How is Johnny? Johnny? Well, it's Jenny I feel sorry for. I'm not sure why she's standing by him. What kind of person does something so terrible and just keeps it to themselves all these years? A human being who made a terrible mistake. I'll have one of them in all time. Thanks. I wasn't lying. For once. <laughs> Heard from Paul? Yeah, I, I, I spoke to him a bit ago. I just said I'll, I'll see him when I see him. So now you're drowning your sorrows, alone. Uh, well, hardly. You know, some is uh, mates, and I cleared my schedule to see Paul, so I thought I might as well leave the flat. Shame Paul had to drop everything. Yeah, you are, you are. Proud of him, putting his mate first. Yeah, he's, um, he's come a long way since we first met. He always brought the best out in people. Yeah. Yeah? Well, definitely had my work out where you were concerned. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.